You can't think of business as a bad word when it comes to your career. It's your career. If you don't invest in your career, who else is going to invest in your career? You know. So you do have to know these things and know that business isn't a bad word. You know. At, at the end, on the other side of it, you have to remember what brought you to music, why you want to play music, what do you want to do with music. It's very important. If you want to just do it as a job, that's fine. I'm kind of the wrong guy to go to for that. I like. People who like to play just for the sake of playing music, you know, but that's that's one that's one thing, you know. I sidetrack myself there, but 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 the the main thing is to remember like why you're playing music and to create goals for yourself, so you have long and short term goals, so that you can kind of refresh your career at periodic stages, and see like what you're doing, what you want to do, why you want to do it. Really check it, you know, kind of keep checking on yourself and making sure that. You can always relate to why, you know, what what it is that you're doing now compared to like why you started to play music, why you wanted to play music, and if you can maintain that love of music all the way through, then you're doing the right thing, you know, because that will keep you on track. Your 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 gut feeling is usually your best commander in chief and take you right where you need to be, you know. But if you get sidetracked with too much business. Taking gigs just to do that kind of thing, and getting more involved in this, then you get further and further away of your actual point of, of uh, what you call that, you know, your actual genesis point, you know. And then, then, then you need to like reassess your career and see what you're doing, what's wrong. The main thing you do have to do to to work in Cal Arts is uh, one of the things you have to do is to learn how to really not be overwhelmed by the amount of 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 things to do here. There's an amazing amount of creativity here, so you have to be very precise about like staying to your original plan and making sure before you change it that it's the thing that you need to to further what it is that you're doing. Because this is like a candy store, you know. You got African music, Indian music, Balinese music, Javanese music over here. You've got Leo Smith. With a creative program here, you've got all the classical programs here and the new music programs over here. I mean, and then you have electronic music programs and composition stuff. So you can, you could, you can s slowly start to get like swept by the actual flow of school and start doing everything, wanting to do everything, and then lose your focus. I've seen, you know, it's happened to a couple of the students here, where they come in as maybe flute majors and wind up playing, you know, and kind of like drifting and drifting and drifting and, and forgetting to practice the flute, you know, start doing too many other things. So that's the, that's the, the beauty and the danger of, of Cal Arts. And so if you can maintain your focus here, that will just carry and you'll be in a really good shape when you, when you get out, you'll hit the ground running as opposed to getting out and going, what do I do now? Being overwhelmed by the tsunami, you know. <laughs>